Hey guys, it is I, Tina Marie, back with a real-time wash routine. Um, the following is a bunch of videos put together, um, happening as I did them on my actual period. I'm still on my period this month, and somebody requested that I do a live wash. So this is my washing routine. Trigger warning, there is real blood, it is mine. And what I really do, along with some signature babble. So, if blood bothers you, there is blood in this video, so you may want to click away. Thanks for joining, and stay tuned for my wash routine. Hi guys. So, welcome back. <laughs> well, I guess you didn't go anywhere, did you? Um, anyway, we're going to pretend that I am out and about. So, I just took off my pad. And I'm going to take, I carry this around with me when I go out of the house and I'm on my period. It's just a, bo a little teeny tiny bottle that has some hydrogen peroxide in it. And if I were out and about, like in a uh, public restroom, I would just squirt this on the soiled area. And there's blood on the back too. Any exposed soiled area, sorry, that I could see. And then I would just, I fold them like this because I have weird shaped pads and put it in my wet bag. And then I would put the wet bag in my purse and go home. Now, let us pretend that I have put it in the wet bag and I have gone home. And now I grab my stain stick. I don't know if I'm going to need it yet, but I always grab it. And then we go over to the sink. It's going to get loud. Go over to the sink, and I'm going to switch cameras if you get sick. I'm sorry. How do I switch cameras? One sec. Okay. I think I got it, and it's going to be loud. I'm very sorry. So then I just take the pad when I get home, and I run it under cold water. It's going to get loud. <laughs> And I just rinse it out or get it soaked. And then I squeeze the water out. And I just keep doing it. Until the water runs clear. And I squeeze it out. For me, that usually it depends on how heavy the pad is, but usually takes at least five times for me. But this I is a pretty new pad to me, so I'm still testing it out, not wearing it very long. So this only took me a couple of seconds. Okay, so I run it underwater. It's running clear when I squeeze it out now. And I'm not twisting the pad. I'm just squeezing it. So that water is clear. Now I take, because there's still stain there, I'm going to take my bunch of farmers and just rub it on the stain. Like so. And it doesn't take a lot of elbow grease, just enough to get them on there. Now I'm just going to kind of wrap it up like this and put it in my wet bag until I'm ready to wash. Okay, the next part is actually soaking them. I have a wet bag full of um, soiled pads, so I'm gonna soak them. Get my bucket, and I have about that much hot water in the bottom. And I'm just gonna take some OxyClean well, maybe a little bit more. Any oxygen cleaner will work. It doesn't have to be OxyClean. And I'm just going to dump it in. And then this is really hot, but I'm going to do it anyway. I just uh, stir. Mm. Or agitate to get that OxyClean dissolved. I'm going to stick my hand in that hot water again. 
Okay, it's pretty much dissolved now. I am going to pause it and be right back. Okay, now I filled it up to about there with cold water to um, get these soaking. So just a reminder, these have stains on them. I'm going to take them and put them face down. So soiled side down for all of my pads in this wet bag. I even have some family cloth in there that I'm going to soak for the heck of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I'm doing that and then I'll come back. Okay, so I just wanted to remind you that this is the one that I showed you I was rinsing. If you remember, it had a stain in the back, and I had put my bunch of farmers on it. Well, I stuck it in there three days ago because I didn't have enough to soak yet, and already it is lifted. So I put it, all of them, face down, and then I just dunked them to make sure they're totally underwater. You may have to add more cold water, but... I've done this a lot of times, so I know about how much I need for a wet bag. Um, so then I'm just going to you know, kind of separate them up and get them down in there because my big ones like to float up to the top. So I try to put those on the bottom because they do like, see, it's floating up. This one, these always float up. So I try to get them on the bottom under everything else. Oh, sorry. So, and then, because I know my husband is going to take a shower in the morning, I am going to just put this on the floor, and it's just going to soak the Okay, it's time to dump the water, so I'm just going to dump it in the bathtub. Um, it will be red, or brownish, or something, and then um, I just throw them back in the bucket for a minute, and what you're going to do is... Squeeze each one. Don't twist it. Don't do this kind of thing. Just squeeze it. And then check it over for stains. This one still has quite a few. I think this one is going to stay because this is one of the ones that uh, was washed or dried in. So basically, I just take my bunch of farmers and I would rub the stain again and then put it in another oxy soak. I'm not going to do that because I personally don't care about stains. I really don't. Um, I try to keep them nice for you guys, but I really don't care. Uh, I forgot to bring this one out. So. I'm just going to go through and wring all these out and then um, put stain stick on them. I do, I don't do another soak. I do put stain stick on them, but I personally don't do another soak. Um, so I'm going to pause it while I finish that and I will be back. Okay, now I'm just going to put all of them in this mesh bag. Um, if it were just me, I wouldn't even use this mesh bag. I would just throw them in the washing machine with everything else. Uh, I usually do them with my towels, only because I don't use fabric softener with my towels either. Um, but I would have no problem throwing them in with jeans or t-shirts or whatever. I, you know, we don't care here. Blood is blood. Nobody's got any blood-borne pathogens or anything, so... Um, like I said, I'm going to take these and throw them in the wash. And again, the only reason I use a mesh bag is because I live with two men who do do laundry. And I'm happy about that. And I want to make it as comfortable for them to wash my pads as possible. Like, I'll throw them in the washer like I usually do. But my son would not be happy about having to touch all my pads to put them in the dryer. If he happened to be the one putting clothes in the dryer. So the mesh bag is not necessary. It's more for convenience for my my men in my life. And then I'm just going to take my wet bag and throw it in the wash too. Um, and then I wash on cold or warm because I don't care about stains, as I said. So cold will 
not set the stains in. And then I tumble dry on whatever my setting is. I, I don't know if it's, it's not super hot. I don't know if it's super low. I just tumble dry. I have had no problems. Others may have, but I have not. So, sorry for my babble. That is my wash routine. Um, and I hope that that satisfies everybody's curiosity. If it doesn't, comment below with any questions and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you for joining me today. Um, hit like and subscribe for more weirdness on my channel. And have a wonderful, wonderful day.